Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Reports news briefing for Monday the 1st of April. The local media headlines today. Much of Cornwall's media devoted acres of space to the ending of a murder trial which had heard how a toddler from Liscard was beaten and poisoned before she died in 2017. The BBC was among those to tell us how 22-month-old Eve Leatherland died at the hands of her mother's boyfriend, Thomas Curd, who was found guilty of murder. Truro Crown Court heard him sentenced to a minimum of 20 years in prison. Eve's mother, Abigail, was jailed for three and a half years for allowing her daughter's death. Now stand by for another week of madcap Brexit mayhem, just when you thought it couldn't possibly get any more weird than it is already. Cornwall reports told us that the St Austellan Newquay MP Steve Double turned down the offer of a ministerial post so that he could vote against Theresa May's Brexit deal before he voted in favour of it. Cornwall's farming and fishing sectors have less than two weeks to get their paperwork in order before coming up against a hard export border, not just with Ireland but with everywhere. In non-Brexit news, Cornwall Reports wrote the final chapter of Cornwall Council's attempt to provide highways management services to Nottinghamshire. There are details of a new car parking scheme for carers in Cornwall. And Cornwall Reports picked up on news that the Edward Hain Hospital is still in business as a pilot scheme to prevent injuries and help post-hospital recovery has been extended until at least the end of June. The St Ives Times and Echo came out on Friday and also has that Edward Haynes story. Pirate FM reported on a serious accident involving two motorbikes at Bude. The Cornish Times covered the record-breaking entry for the Menheniot Primary School run. And Cornwall Live had a list of people who've been sent to prison during the past month. And those are the local media headlines for now. Thank you very much for watching. Do please share this video on social media. I'll be back again tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.